figure out what's wrong with you. Y'all, I made it maybe 10 minutes into the tutorial and I knew I had to record it for y'all because my heart dropped already and I'm not even finished with the tutorial. So here I am, I'm playing Inscription. Shout out to Slowpoke for buying this game for my birthday. I appreciate it. I was going to play a little bit of it, get the controls and then play it for the first time on stream. But uh, apparently this game is... um. It's too crazy not to show y'all from the beginning. I don't know if my little heart can handle it, but we're gonna try. Fun fact, it will not let you create a new game. I don't know why, but when you first open up the game, you have to continue from wherever, I'm assuming the last person left off. And I'm sure we'll figure it out, but this, this boy right here. <laughs> I do not like whatever this thing is. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Well, no. Duh, I've not played this before. Minus the tutorial. Allow me to remind you. Oh, play the squirrel card. Boom, now play your stoat. I don't even know what the heck a stoat is. Also, the controls on this, I'm gonna need to get used to them. So we have our stoat, our little weasel, and honorable death. Play the stoat. So we're sacrificing critters to play bigger critters. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Your stoat stands unopposed. Dang right. The number on the bottom left is its attack power. So for our stoat, it's one. Three health. I know how this goes. Your stoat dealt one... Your stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. His hands. Alright, so his turn. He plays a coyote. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote deals two damage to your stoat. Now its health is at one. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. My turn. So I can either draw from my deck or draw a squirrel. Squirrels are guaranteed sacrifice. I do need to... Oh, dull. See, I did not do that the first time. He's just going to insult you regardless of what you choose. So play the squirrel. We can get rid of the coyote. We can sacrifice. The poor little stoat. Fear not. The beast is sacrificed but not removed from your deck. Its suffering was real but you will see it again. That makes me feel so much better. Uh, that's all we can do. Because you are learning, I will pass. He's so generous. <laughs> Again, the choice. A random card from your deck or the certainty of a squirrel. I am... I mean, I only have one wolf. But I want to see... Okay, so we have the turtle. And the blood symbols are the number of sacrifices. So with both of them, I'm still going to need to draw a squirrel. Three damage dealt, three weights on the scale. This... He's still passing, so sweet. Uh, so we'll just go all out. Um, well, actually, I would sacrifice two just to get either a three damage or a one damage, so it doesn't matter. And he collects... <laughs> I did notice this, he's collecting the extra damage. They won't all be so easy. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. See, now we get- now we get the backstory. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. 
two denizens of the forest approached you tentatively. And y'all, if I must pronounce a word, y'all are not allowed to correct me. The caustic adder, damage from its poison bite is always lethal. So basically death touch. The undying cat, sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. Which I'm actually a fan of, because then we don't have to keep drawing dang squirrels. Only one may grace your paltry deck. As much as I love the idea of doing death touch, I think I'm going to get more value out of the, the little kitty cat. Also, it's a freaking kitty cat. Why wouldn't I choose it? Another creature joins your caravan. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. That implies that some do not. You came across an abandoned sack. This storyteller, my word. You found a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergency. And have a second. Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. This we gotta save. I did learn that from the tutorial. Three is as much as you can carry. We continue along the path. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. It's not just a rock. It's a boulder. Oh wait, did I get that? I messed that up. I'll help you, yes. Play along for now. So I do want to befriend the adder, or the, not the adder, what's it called? Oh my gosh, I forgot what it's called. Uh, the ferret, I'm a, I'm a hang out with the ferret for now. You may now see my moves ahead of time. I do get to, oh. Uh, so I get to see what he's about to play. And then the orange is the actual, like playing board. Um, this is this is about as far as I got in the tutorial. Um, and then again, I used some of these, and that's when I knew. That's when I knew. Uh, I'm lacking sacrifice. Oh! So the cat's one sacrifice, so I do want to go ahead and play the cat right now. And from my understanding, you can play as much as you want. Need I remind you, your items can help. Well, let me sacrifice. The cat, it says. Here we go. And I could sacrifice the weasel as well. The river snapper is only one damage. So I'm going to pass. Mind the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. So this one. What am I going to pick? I guess I'll grab a squirrel because I can sacrifice a squirrel and a cat to get the river snapper on the board uh so this one so the little fledgling a card bearing the sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board so after being on the orange squares um and then this one that he's about to play oh oh i can look around so this one is basically this one has flying a card bearing the sigil will strike an opponent directly even if there is a creature opposing it but i do believe you can still do damage to the critter with flying. So we are going to go ahead and play a squirrel. And then sacrifice the cat and the squirrel. Get the river snapper on. Deal some of that damage. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. So he's going to do <laughs> a lot of damage. Um, So I actually, I don't have... I guess I could draw a random critter card. Okay, sweet, so I have a wolf. I just realized if my cat's there, I don't know if I can, I can't sacrifice to get rid of it. And if the bat's not gonna do damage, then I'm just gonna end up taking two damage every turn. Oh my word, okay, well, the wolf does three damage, so let's get rid of the river snapper. Yeah, so our sto, that's what it's called. Our stoat will get rid of the stump. Our wolf will get rid of the other stump. That wolf still has to deal damage to the stump. I'm about to lose it. Let's grab a squirrel. If I throw a squirrel, will it just serve as a chump blocker? 
I would think. So I need to tip the skill. So I need to deal damage. It looks like I'm going to deal five. I'm going to deal four damage. He's going to deal five. That's going to make me dead. Is this an eyeball? Uh, but if I do the squirrel right here, the wolf and the squirrel should attack. If I'm getting that correctly. Oh, yeah. So I only take two. I could actually just keep doing blockers because I'm dealing four and he's dealing two to face. So actually, we'll just wait this out. I do want to keep my reserve helping tools. All right. Well, what can we, what else do we have? We have a wolf. We could also throw the wolf in. Oh. Yeah. Well, we want to keep the stoat alive, right? Because we, we want to help it. What happens if I... Ooh, okay. Well, he's gone. This is the most sensible play. We'll get rid of that wolf. Still do damage. He's only dealing two to face. And now we just have random squirrels. I guess there's no point in drawing the squirrels. You prevailed and trekked onwards past the now bloody terrain. Oh, we're still in story mode. I just, I want to know that we keep our items for sure. The young wolf cub. It grows into a wolf after a single turn. Or the meek sparrow. I want the sparrow. An inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. I want the sparrow. I want flying. This storyteller, my word. Oh, we still do have our items. You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice. One that will be lost forever. I don't... Oh, gosh. Oh, no. The cat or the spare? Oh, I can't... I can't get rid of the cat. I'd rather sacrifice the bird. I know I just got the bird, but I know the cat is worth it. So we're gonna, we're gonna put that there. Pick me. What a pick me girl. Okay. I don't want to get rid of the, I don't want to get rid of the weasel either. I like how it asked me to sacrifice between the bird and the cat and it's still asking me to get rid of the cat. What an honor. Oh! Ooh. What does that imply? A ghastly spectacle. But the soul of the sparrow now lives in the storm. Y'all, we have a flying weasel. Hang right. Okay. I see a forked path up here. I'm ready. Oh, oh lovely. Behold my totem. It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. So basically your wolves are going to have flying. Your wolves are your little pups. He's completely insane. You see that, right? Absolutely. No care for the rules. Yeah. Except he was very nice to me my first game. To watch me suffer. Uh, I guess if we were going to instill a, a special power to the stoat, we could have done the cat and then we would never have to sacrifice our our stoat. Um, okay, so what is he about to do? The coyote with flying, the bat with flying, so that's two, four in the air. Um, our stoat has one and each of those have one, so... Let's put our stoat in front of one. Back on the ward. I have not forgotten them. Um, I th think I'm gonna wait. My totem has granted my coyote the power of flight. I love that for you. Oh, he attacked first. Okay, alright, well. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, you, uh, um, let's see. Let's do. Can I do a squirrel right now? I don't think I can. Um, let's grab a squirrel. 
Ooh, okay, well, we can throw a squirrel on there. We can throw two squirrels on there. And then sacrifice both. Throw a wolf in front of the bat. And I guess my stoat's not going to deal damage to the coyote. Uh, but if these two trade, if I swing in with my wolf... That's the thing. I'm going to deal one damage to the face. He's going to deal two to me. So one, one, two. I think it's at that last prong. I'm pretty sure. Okay, I'm still in the game. Um, let's go ahead. Let's grab... Let's grab a squirrel. What's he about to play? That so he has the cub. It's going to turn into a wolf. It also has flying. Let's... If it has flying, it's going to deal damage straight to face. Let's do this. I'm going to sacrifice this to it again. Because I need the wolf on the board to start dealing some more damage. I <laughs> mean, I should have given it the cat power. Now I feel bad. Although, I could put this wolf in front of that coyote and get rid of it. I honestly, I think that's going to be better. That deals one damage. Next turn, it's going to turn into an actual wolf. Uh, I still have a squirrel back there. We have the river snapper, but... Dang! One damage away! Oh, I forgot that transforms. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Um, so that's not on the board right now. I don't believe. But I think we're fine. We'll throw the squirrel over here. So if it's not on the board right now... Yeah! Look at me doing my math right. Impressive. You may yet survive this ordeal. I better... Knock on wood. This game, I I love it already. I'm not even done with the tutorial. The proud wolf, a vicious contender, or the adder, death touch, or the elk, the flighty elk. It moves after attacking. I don't know what that does. I kind of want to pick the elk because I want to know what it does, but I also like the idea of having death touch so I'm assuming we'll get another chance to play around with the elk hang on what I don't know what the campfire means I'm pretty sure this is the sacrifice can I give more than one power I don't know do I have another let me can I move on the board oh Okay, so I can see my items. I can see my cards. Let's see. Um, I mean, I guess it would be nice to maybe... I don't want to get rid of the cat. But it would be nice to have this sacrifice power on, like, something like the River Snapper. Because then it can, like, defend itself with the one toughness. And it would be harder to get rid of than the cat. But I also don't know what the fireplaces oh there's another fireplace i don't want to yeah let's oh but i want to know what the fireplace is hang oh okay all right uh you came across a small group of survivors faces shrunken from starvation they huddled around a campfire they looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. They're gonna eat us. Come, warm one of- Oh, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire, that will enhance its power, said another. You noticed what- Yeah. Yeah. You noticed one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Yeah, right. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I kind of still want to combine the turtle and the cat. So if I had to lose something, I'll lose a duplicate. Oh, 
the fire warmed the poor wolf, enhancing its power. Oh, they didn't. They, they didn't eat it. One of the survivors reached towards it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the wolf away from the fire and left. Oh, so they tried. Oh, so we are. Oh, man. Well, if I knew that, I would have. I would have strengthened my weasel. All right. Next boss battle. Fight me. What is this? There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabinet. Be silent or I will tear you to shreds. Uh, oh, poor. He's sad. Oh my gosh. That's so mean. Okay, grand fur. So we have some defense. He's going to bring in a sparrow. That's something I would... I have the adder, so... That'll work out. Um, I think I misplayed it. Can I take it back? Oh, dang it. Oh, no. Because if I had put the squirrel there and the cat there, then when the grizzly came out, I could sacrifice the squirrel, put it in... Put the adder in the squirrel's place. I have to play the stoat and... Oh, or... I play the extra squirrel. Sacrifice two. I'll go ahead and set up the adder. And... Yeah. My turn. Because I need one sacrifice for the cat and I need the adder to stay on. Okay, so, yep, if it's his turn, his creatures have first strike. I love that. So nice. Oh, so lovely. Okay, well, I guess I need a squirrel. Oh my gosh, another one. Okay, well... That has one. That has six. Oh, I... I messed up. This spot, you sure? No. I'm not sure. But that's what I gotta do. No, oh, my word. Oh. I'm... Oh, I messed- Oh, I messed up. Because I can't- Well... I should have drawn a squirrel. I don't think it would have mattered. That's not gonna help me here. I guess we'll just- Oh, their teeth. Oh, I get it. <laughs> um... I don't... I don't want to find out what happens. I love how the pliers are just still sitting there. Use this as a learning opportunity. And maybe the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Because clearly we care about his disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me a candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door so I can move. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. No, thank you. Oh, this is going to be a jump scare. Are there jump scares in this one? Oh, there's the, 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 the people who wanted to eat my darling. I forgot. <laughs> you can kind of make out, like, part of his face. I don't want to find out. The candlestick from on top of the barrel. Okay. If I keep asking, is it gonna... Nah. Uh, so, over here. 
How close can I get to it? Ooh, okay. There's the wolf. Oh, beautiful. Grab the. He did say that there that there was a there was a way out, and it's in the cabin. I kind of don't care that. Oh my gosh. Now sit back down. Okay. All right. Let me explain something to you. Oh, oh, oh. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I'm... No. No. No, thank you. Do we have to restart that whole encounter? Oh, no, wait, it continued. Oh. So, I kind of... Let's get the knapsack for the supplies. Oh, my word. The conniving raven. A blight upon the skies. The wolf. What is that? No! Wait! I just wanted to know what that thing was. It was like a kernel of, of popcorn. It, oh. It's bleeding yields three blood. If you can ignore the bleeding. I, a powerful item, turn this and I'll skip my next turn. Can you skip all your turns? Oh, we get to choose one. Okay, well. I'm gonna take the hourglass. I feel like that's the most valuable. Uh, a gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. Flying until end of turn. I love it. A rock may get you out of a hard place. <laughs> I. He's watching me. Ooh. I kind of. I'm trying to think. Oh, they have bird feet on them, too. I guess the boulder will buy us time and we can throw it in front of like a grizzly bear versus the flying is not gonna do much. Feeling overburdened enough with the full three items you carried on. Oh, so maybe I could keep choosing if I use the items. So maybe it's in my best interest to use all the items before I get into the next knapsack. All right, bet. Watch me die and lose before I finish the tutorial. That'd be sad. Oh, no, no. Nope. The trees seemed to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. Oh, some friendly miners. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Let me guess, it's you. <laughs> hey, God, what is the prospector? What is this game? Okay, all right, bet. <laughs> He's doing the prospector again. The mules key. Wait, wait, what did he say before that? The mules key. Can I get up from the table? Ah, freaking. So sad. I y'all, he's he's role playing. I like this. Okay, so we have a boulder. Oh, what what is the quote? What is it? It's it's not just a boulder. It's a rock. Pack mule. What is? Oh, that's the one that can move. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. So it's pretty limited. We have a two one coyote. Uh, let's see. We'll have to play. We'll throw a squirrel on there. We don't have our kitty cat. We do have a boulder. Let's go ahead. Let's... We actually could probably use our items. 
Let's see, the pack mill is gonna move. So let's throw, let's see, their stuff is gonna have first strike when it comes on the board. So we're gonna throw it in the front of the pack mule. Okay, don't judge me. Um, and we could actually, we could throw a boulder in front of this, withhold damage, maybe. And so this one is gonna, so I'm guessing because the coyote is there, it... so it's not gonna be able to move. Uh, let's see, where am I at? Uh, let's draw, I want the cat. What was the likelihood I'm gonna get a cat? In reality, okay, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you're not being very useful to me right now. I could use the boulder, but I kind of want to save that for one of the bigger heavy hitters. So, although he does have flying and that one's stuck, so that's a guaranteed one damage every turn. I feel like though with this boulder already here, I'm going to have to sacrifice him. I'm sorry. Yes, again, um, actually I could get rid of the coyote. So we could do that. Yeah. Oh, and now he moves. Okay, can we get... I guess we'll need to start throwing out the squirrels there. The coyote will do four damage. We have another coyote coming along. Um, let's throw in... Get a cat? Nope. Um, that... That two is going to get rid of that wolf. Unfortunately, so I guess... Well, though, this is the strong wolf, right? So I'll deal four damage before I get rid of him. And then I'll get two squirrels the next time and I can play another wolf. So I'm gonna get the four damage in. Oh, and I didn't realize the, the boulder was already gone. Um, let's put a squirrel in here. Let's throw in... What is the pack mule's point? Like. It's just serving as like a movable boulder. The mole, what is? Man, I bet this was one of the cards that I missed because I clicked too quickly. What is this one? Burrower, when an empty space would be struck, a card bearing the sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. Oh, okay, I kind of like that. All right, it looks like a butthole. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest. Um let's I guess we'll get a squirrel out. We'll get rid of the pack mule. Alternatively, we could throw we could throw a wolf. We could sacrifice this wolf, throw it here to deal three damage to face. But I guess we can go ahead and get rid of the mule. And nab it my mule! Where do those come from? What? Did I neglect to mention overkill damage? Excess damage is not wasted. It carries over to the car- To the car behind the mangled corpse of the victim. Oh my word. Lucky for you. Yeah, dang right. That's good to know. Oh, hot dang. Okay, so I have- Oh, I guess because the mule was sitting on a pack of cards. Yes! Okay, well, we now we have options. We do have a squirrel. Can we get the cat? Ah, oh, frick yeah. Alright, so let's throw that here. He's not planning on playing any cards. Let's go ahead and throw the cat somewhere where it's safe. And now we can sacrifice another two. Uh, what we can actually do is throw in the river snapper to get rid of the coyote. And I feel like it's a solid block. Uh, we can also sacrifice the cat again. Throw a sparrow to get an extra damage. That only did like one damage. Wow, beautiful. When we got the adder, he's not doing anything though. Let's see. We could deal some more damage. Let's get rid of the cat and the sparrow. Even though I just played it. So that would be seven damage to face. Yeah. Oh, I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. Ah, freaking, there's gold in them cards. 
What? They got rid of my cat. What the what? Gold. I struck gold. Ah, oh, freaking. What is that? Blood hounds. Guardian. When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing the sigil will move to that empty space. I. Why am I shaking? Hang on. Do I? Freaking. I think I only have one card left. Oh my word. Can I sacrifice these? There's no room for. What? Oh, my word. Okay, what can I? Hey, there, there's not much space for me to go, so I guess I'll throw a squirrel. We'll throw a sparrow. The sparrow's gonna die next turn, but at least I can deal one damage to it. It did nothing. Oh, because it dealt damage to face. I. There's a freaking adder. What do I do? Okay, I need to get rid of the gold nuggets. So actually, now might be a good time to do the boulder. Buy myself time and maybe these two slots will get free at the same time. Okay, that that happens. Okay, well do this. Oh, wait, I need to I need I messed up. I was gonna play the squirrel and sacrifice these two, but I forgot that this is a boulder. It's not a critter. I just wasted a squirrel. Sir, I'm about to die. Do I have, how many squirrels can I have? Do I just keep chump blocking? Do, do I keep chump blocking? I... Oh my word. I don't have unlimited squirrels. Um. Well. That's kind of a bummer. So they're each one damage. So regardless if I sacrifice and throw it in front of the adder, I should be fine. But the two damage and the one damage, that's not going to do me any favors. Let's see. I could throw the river snapper in front of the bloodhound. Let's see, I'll deal one damage to that turn. It'll deal two to me. These are gonna get through though and it's gonna start dealing two damage to me. And I don't have... I might have to use the time turner and the little, the, the wrench. Although I could do the adder. Actually, yeah, I could do the adder. Throw it in front of the bloodhound. My goodness. Oh, and I forgot that wolf. Oh. Your supply of new creatures was exhausted. Starvation began to set in. Um, there's a card for starvation repulsive. It's if a creature would attack a card bearing this sigil. It does not, oh. I, I guess I saved my items, and, but my candle's gonna die. I don't want to be sacrificed. I freaking died in the tutorial. That's great. More gold for me. No, 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 no.